Hello, this is Braden from Black Force Airsoft 6 here with a review of the Full Metal HFC Darkhawk. I recently purchased this gun for $75 on airrattle.com and it is full metal. The only plastic parts are some of the internals and the uh, trigger. It does not have the Glock trigger with a space on the inside. Um, but the grip is metal. The frame where you put your you can put a laser flashlight has that availability, but the safety is right here. It is also metal, but it is in a very inconvenient spot. The slide of course is metal. Slide or, or slide release is metal. And to take this gun apart, you're gonna take the mag out. No mag. Cock it back. One tab here, another tab right here. You're going to pull both those down at the same time, slide it forward. It's really simple. Now, the internals on this gun are some, part, some parts plastic. This spring is just like aluminum, I think. And this right here is pretty cheap. This is pretty cheap plastic, this piece here. But um, to take your inner barrel out, you're gonna push this forward. Your outer bar is gonna stick out a little bit, but it does not come out. And your inner barrel reveals right here. Now it has the adjustable hop up, which I really like on it. It'll make it shoot a lot more straighter than the Breda or the M190 Special Forces. And um, I haven't took the outer barrel out because you have to take this piece out, and I haven't have yet to do that. So. Um, but if you want to, you take some silicone oil. I use um, Firepower Soft Air Silicone Oil for just lubing my slide and lubing my mag. I lube it here where it rubs against the frame. Do the frame right here where it rubs against the slide. These two pieces, so you know you don't want to get your slide stuck on there. But to put your gun back together. You're going to take your barrel, slide it in there, and just make sure everything's lined up. Push that forward, and this is a little notch on it right here, right there. And you're going to take that, push it, push it in there, and then the little notch slides into the back of the hop-up. And to put, put it back on the frame, you're going to slide this back make sure both these tabs are up and just kind of give it a tap there now the mag on this gun is metal of course because it's a gas pullback mag I run propane in it I just used the last of my green gas today um, the only plastic parts on the mag are the feeding lip and the case on here which is really nice because if you drop this if you drop this um in like dirt or something you never want to get that filled up with dirt but it kind of easily comes off all you got to do is pull this down slides right off if if you have like a bigger propane adapter or something then just goes on the same way and to load the mag, I use a speed loader. It is kind of hard to um, load it without a speed loader, but it has this little tab for a gas blow back on there. Um, and just kind of just push and shake and load all the BBs. Now, I have the Tactical Crusaders propane adapter. Um, bought this at 321 Airsoft for about $17.99. So, um, it's really good. It's aluminum and burns matic propane. And to take it off, just unscrew it. It screws on really nicely. Spray a little bit of silicone oil in here. I just did it. Um, and on your propane adapter. And it does screw on quite nicely. 
don't tighten it down with a wrench or anything because you don't want to bust the threads. Um, but you do want to lube here in your mag here where it hits the gas and where you fill your gas because propane is super dry. But about three or four mags fill up this and about eight or ten mags fill up this and that just to keep everything working good. But um, we're just going to go outside and shoot it real quick. And I'm going to try to hold the camera or my dad can come over here and hold the camera for me. Alright, so we're going to go outside and load up the propane because it smells terrible. And the mag's already loaded with BBs. And we're just going to take the propane. Oops. And take it outside. Okay, now to load the mag with propane, you can shut the door. Too cold. Now, just open this up, put your propane in, shake it a little. You want that silicon oil mixed in good. And you could hear it draining in there. Wait about five seconds or five to ten seconds. Do a couple bursts. That's what I usually do, and it works pretty good, but it is kind of cold, so it will affect the, it's going to affect the performance of the green gas or the propane. So, just to shoot it. It shoots pretty straight with the hop up on it, point twos. With propane, it does pretty good in the cold, but I think green gas is a little worse. It's getting low. It's out, and you have about four or five UBs left. That's normal when it's cold out. So, well, that was a shooting test. And this gun shoots about 390 to 400 FPS with the up up adjusted. We really recommend this gun if you're looking for like a custom Glock or some sort of cheap, full metal, good pistol. This is Black Force Airsoft 6. Thank you.